I also just realized what we have to do here. Hi, Hugh Bliss. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. Oh. I challenge you to change colors again. Okay, pick a color. Any color. <laughs> it's not easy being green. Oh, but it is with magic. <laughs> ah. How about another picture, Hugh Bliss? Of course, gather round. Perfect. Oh, even even his text changes color. That's funny. Huh. Hello. This could use some sprucing up. Whatever happened to our can of spray paint? I refuse to answer on the grounds that I may incriminate both myself and a prominent local politician. Say no more. I miss the 70s, when you could get away with stuff like that. I shouldn't fool with the set while we're not taping the show. I shouldn't fool with the set. PCs here to talk to. That's quite an assortment. They must have scoured every toxic waste dump in the state. This is quite realistic. Like that animatronic kid on the Cosby show. Welcome to Cooking oh. Without Looking, the cooking show for the typical bachelor kitchen, containing no fruits, vegetables, or healthy ingredients of any sort. The show where we take a random assortment of condiments Red and, dye number two. and create a meal within minutes. Filling in for Chuck Flagon this week, these guys. Just go with it. Hey, um, hello. Welcome to the show. Thanks, Sam. It's great to be here. Not you, Buckethead. The audience. Oh. Greetings, worshipful fans! Remember, the only reason I'm on TV is because I'm better than you. We've got some furious cooking to do, so let's get right to it. What are we making, Sam? What? A bunch of gunk in a dish. <laughs> we'll just get some ingredients from the ingredient rack and add it to what we professionals call the yummying hog. Isn't that a pot? Max, we both know a pot is what you and I fight over when we play poker. This is the yummy ain't hot. Wait, what? up some dried dingo kidneys come on bachelors you know you have them look under the sofa cushions uh... <laughs> every chef has a signature ingredient that no one has ever heard of or used mine's msg if you put in enough that you feel a burning sensation in the back of the neck forearms and chest you're just about there Make sure to include red dye number two. If there's not at least some possibility of malignant tumors, it's not real bachelor cooking. Of course, it wouldn't be real bachelor cooking without tweed. Bachelors, here's a tip. Tweed isn't just for cooking. It also makes a great toupee. I will cook now, it. Can we broil it, Sam? Right you are, little buddy. Into the oven it goes. And through the magic of TV cooking showtime, ta-da, you've successfully perverted the laws of God and man. Oh boy, let's take it with us. Oh. Uh. Don't know what we'll use that for, but cool. 
Oh, just a big old That's bucket. That's enough lard to clog the arteries of a major metropolis. Or start a circus of grease squirrels. I rue the day you lost your NEA funding, Max. What's the story with this show? Cooking Without Looking? It's a cooking show aimed at motorhead bachelors who have never seen the inside of a grocery store. Is there a big demand for that? You'd be amazed. Where's the host? Is he in watching the Myra show? No, he's one of the few who isn't. He got food poisoning while he was taping last week's show. Right in the middle, in fact. Was it gruesome? Yes, and unfortunately, this show goes out live. Can we get a tape of the show? Can we get a tape of the show? This one? No, it's broadcast live. We don't tape it. How do you do that teleportation trick where you're always everywhere ahead of us? Trade secret, honey. How do you keep it so clean in here? The complete absence of anything resembling food is helpful. Aren't there fruits or vegetables of any sort around here? Just the crew. <laughs> I never get tired of that one. Okay, actually, no. We strive for realism, and the average bachelor kitchen doesn't contain any natural plant life except mold. Oh. See ya. Probably. Oh, well, we got rid of the shaving cream. I just don't see how you can sing and be a judge. I don't think the public would swallow how did that. We get here? Hey, Sam, do my eyes deceive me, or are those our formerly hypnotized former child star acquaintances, the soda poppers? Sweet jellyfish paste on a stick, you're right. What are the odds? Did we find another judge? What about one of those guys? Hmm, I don't suppose either of you would be interested in being a judge on Embarrassing Idol, the hot new show where we make uncomfortable entertainment out of people's misplaced faith in their own singing ability. Oh, me, me! I promise I'll be completely unbiased in my abuse of the contestants. Fine, fine. Take a seat. Goody! I get to sing! Oh, Welcome boy. back to Embarrassing Idol. The judges are chomping at the bit, so say hello to our first contestant, Peepers. <clears throat> Am I blue? Who are you? Can I fly? Well, that was a bit sloppy, but I particularly liked how you hit that high note. That always impresses me. I think you'll get my vote. I'm definitely voting for you. After all, you are my brother. Very impressive. You sound almost exactly like a sick cat being dragged through rusty farm machinery. But this is a singing contest, so I think I'll have to vote for someone else. Um, is there anyone else? Not so far. Oh. Can I look at these? Sure, take them. I've got them memorized. Am I blue? Who are you? Can I fly? Very impressive. Oh. Interesting. Is that your mug? No, it was here when I got here, last week. Ew. Hold on a second. You underdeveloped former non-psychotherapist, you. What a treat to run across you again. I'm not sure if I ever properly thanked you for hitting me over the head recently. <laughs> Repeatedly. No gratitude necessary. Just doing our jobs. Sure. How do you manage to hit those eardrum-scarring high notes? 
If you're implying that I use any artificial vocal enhancements, I don't. What you hear is pure peepers. That's almost exactly what I would have said. Really, is there any trick to hitting the high notes like you do? Look, I told you, I don't use any artificial vocal enhancement, and I resent oh. the implication. I have a gift, that's all. Your lyrics have an intriguingly vapid quality. Did you write them yourself? Of course! Any similarity to lyrics from other wildly popular songs is meant as homage, not theft. I'm dying to know. Is there any truth to the rumors about lip-syncing on the old Soda Poppers TV show? We only did that on the released version. I'll leave you to whatever it is you're doing over here. Good luck! Hmm. I had to guess they don't have anything to say. challenge you to change colors again. Okay, pick a color. Any color. Do blue, Hugh. Oh. Bye. Well. You should be able to put this in here. Smurf boy. Yeah. Hey, a perfect fit. <laughs> Wow, that was rude. We've got another contestant. Hit it! Welcome back. Our next contestants are these guys again. Okay, are you ready? Hmm, the question is, am I blue? <laughs> yes or no? Yes, you. Yes, you are. Well, what do you know? That's absolutely right! Yes. Congratulations! You're a millionaire! We're rich! Ooh. Filthy rich! We just went bankrupt, so we will not be back after these messages. Oh. I don't believe it. Well, this is awkward, but we don't actually have a million in cash. Sweet mother of all quiz show scandals. We'll have to give you a million dollars worth of food stamps. They're right over there. Hold on. Can you buy deep fried licorice ropes with food stamps? We'll take it. One, two, three, 174, 175, 999,999. And a million. Let's go spend it, Sam. It's burning a hole in my pocket. It's putting quite a bulge in mine. Save quick. So, uh... I really hope that counts as, uh... Wait. How do I leave the set? Oh god. How do I leave the set? Uh... I'm really confused, uh... Okay, well, we'll we'll just try this. Let's have another go at that scene, shall we? Okay, now remember, your landlord's at the door, and you don't want him to know you've got a cow in there. Ready? Action! They probably had a cow. Open up in there! I know you're hiding a cow! <laughs> 
Just a second, Mr. Featherly. Let there be light. Hey! There we go. Life of the party. Aha! <coughs> uh -huh. I know you've got a... Well, 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 who's your guest, boys? A cow wearing a lampshade. It's the cow we've been raising here in the apartment with a lampshade on its head. We put it on there to fool you into thinking the cow was someone else. Cut! Please don't say cut. That's my job. How am I expected to create art if you're not even going to try to perpetuate the farce? <laughs> He's right, guys. You can do better than that. That was pretty funny, <sighs> though. Let's get the set back the way it was. I totally thought that was gonna work. Let's have another go. See if you can squeeze in some gross-out humor this time. Ready? 